All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Well, I'll bring it. I'll bring it around. But this is what's going on out here. It's raining. But here's what's going on in here. We have Michael Dawson. What are you, li what are you listening to there, son? The band. The band. The Brown album. The Explode. Mock it, if you dare. What we're doing here is um. Favorite viewer Dan Kennedy sent me more beer, sent us more beer. He previously sent this um, Spencer Trappist ale from uh, out east, and then he did a kind of a clone or a similar beer style attempt. So we're, we've been drinking on it, and we're going to do a little quick wrap up. But uh, what would you say about the Trappist Spencer one? And I did do a video with Chris Payne's and Chip, and we tasted this. Uh, a couple months ago. It's got a really nice nose, kind of plummy and spicy. Um, there's some nice malt character in there. Um, it's very, very dry. We were just talking about that before mm -hmm. Don started rolling. It tastes super attenuated to me, super dry, which really brings out the bitterness and yep. leans the body out to nothing. You made the point about aging. Yeah, I was just saying I'm not sure how well a beer of this low final gravity would age. It's not a, I know some of the sour beers can have a low final gravity, or Saison's maybe. But um, I think this yeast is just, anyway, that's sort of beside the point. But that's kind of what we said when we had it before. We liked it. Um, I think we just wanted a little bit more. So anyway, Dan's beer is a very similar grain bill, I think. Or at least it's just sort of supposed to approximate it. What do we think about Dan's? Tell, tell them about the bottle, the cork release. It was dramatic. It was appetizing. Mm. It was loud. It was like champagne almost. Mm -hmm. It was like a good, I'm not going to try to do the sound. but You should try to do the sound. I'm not going to do it. It was loud. It was great. And then, uh, but it wasn't uh, gushing at all. It was, um, it was actually, I think the Spencer one is pretty highly carbonated and Dan's was similarly carbonated. So to Dan's, what do we think? That plumminess is more apparent to me in the nose than the spice in the Spencer, the, the phenols and such. Um, it's got a really nice malt quality. You talked about wanting more yeah, of a little the Spencer more. Ale, and it's got a little more of the malt richness. It's got a fuller body. Um, I, my personal bias is towards dry beers. Oh. So, you know, I, wow. I may be a dissenting opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this beer He's a lot. Wrong. Okay, I mean, sorry, what I'm, are you saying? I'm nothing. I'm, I was oh. saying I'm probably wrong, <laughs> no, actually. You were. Yeah, but uh, great flavor, great malt character. It is similar. So the yeast, um, they I think you use Trappist High Gravity maybe or something like that, and they probably just have a similar kind of a thing going. I mean, their yeast isn't super flavorful or not like a funkier, more complex one. Yeah, for a Belgian, it's it's played down. Yeah. So, very nice beer. It's very well done. It's mm -hmm. clean. Uh, it was really nicely carbonated and um, pours yeah. out nice, good color. Flavors are really similar, just the body uh, a little fuller, like we yeah. did. But yeah. Well, I'm going to wrap this nice up because if it's not, it. not raining anymore, we'll go back out there. It's on and off. So, there we go. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.